Hello, we're back. I am, of course, Stamford Chidge, and this is the Chelsea Football Fancast. And uh, we're about to get into the Chelsea Man City game that we were there for on Saturday, and I can't wait for that. Before we do, actually, I've got some, a few good uh, things coming out on Mixler pertaining to what we've just been speaking about. Uh, George Downs, interestingly, says he says he doesn't think that Mash has deserved an eight because he gave the ball away a few times in bad positions and also lost the ball for their goal. Well, possibly, George. I mean, I, I kind of have blamed Aspie for that. Of course, one person we haven't blamed yet is Courtois, but we'll get onto that in a minute. Um, and uh, and there we go, basically. Everybody's saying hello. Well, there we go. Clive Lewis, yes, can't disagree with those ratings. And Jacaranda Chick, Quadrado means our goal celebrations are going to be awesome from now on. I've seen those dancing. No, 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 no. no. He, he makes Sturridge look good in terms of dancing. Oh, oh, that's <laughs> not good. Anyway, enough of all that. Lovely to see you in Mixler all the same. Right, now... I kind of said to this one, two points dropped or, or one point gained. That's just really because I'm being sensationalist. It's a kind of a trick that we've learned in, in the newspaper business, isn't it, Dan? Nothing to, me, nothing to do with me, Governor. Well, <laughs> on that very point, you know, I do a fair bit of writing for IB Times now. And, and every time I write something, they, they pick out whatever I've said to slag off Scousers, and that becomes the headline. <laughs> So, you know, you could, and I, having <coughs> argued with Martin Lipton many a time about him writing rubbish, and he says, it's not me, it's not me, it's the sub editor. I now actually finally have seen the light, and it's, you know, I take Martin Lipton, I take it all back. Uh, anyway, that aside, um, good start, I thought. I thought, when I, I mean, I sadly wasn't there, so I had to watch it on the TV, which was, is awful. I forgot how horrendous is, watching so a match that you could be at live on TV is, because you mm. feel so powerless to do anything. Why you feel empowered when you're, at a stadium shouting your mouth off, I don't know, but you, just, you, 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 you feel really helpless when you're just watching on TV. That said, I thought it was a great start, because I thought, actually, considering they'd had you know, 120 minutes against Liverpool on Tuesday, they were really at them for the first 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, d decent start, but of course then it's over 90 minutes, isn't it? And they did look pretty leggy as the game went on. Um, but if you look at it, you, know, you, you say, is it one point gained, is it two points lost? You've, it's, you've said all the stuff already. 120 minutes in midweek. Costa oh, we can out. go home then, Dan. Fabregas yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. right, see you, folks. Right, we've done the show in about a minute. It's called the Reduced Chelsea Football Fancast. Anyway, I'm, I'm pulling your leg. Yeah, very, a good point. A really good point. Five points clear at the top of the league. They needed to win. Mm. And mm. we stopped them from winning. All right. You have actually done the entire part in one sentence, Dan. Yeah, yeah, so, okay. yeah, you, know, you, you don't need a sub-editor. You do it you do it yourself. <laughs> I mean, the, the, we, we touched on the Remy goal, didn't we, in, mm. in the, talking about the player ratings. I, I'd like to talk about that a little bit more because I think, number one, I thought it was a beautifully constructed goal. And it, that's the kind of goal that I would like us to see. I don't like... Uh, I don't like anything that, that reminds me of Arsenal or Barcelona <laughs> at all. <laughs> yes, you knew I, you know me well, Andy. <laughs> For me, that's a proper goal. Yeah, the yeah. way they spread the play, they created space, they pulled that defence apart. That is how to score a great goal. Not try and yeah. do 1,500 passes in, yeah. the, in the D and then um, and wonder why you can't break through. Yeah. You leave that to Arsenal and Barcelona. That is what I want to see from a Chelsea side. Three touches, ball was in the back of the net. Beautiful, wasn't it? Was William did really well, I thought, for yeah. that. Mm. Yeah. That Sadio point. Hazard, though, he had no time to think of what to do with that. Yeah. It was there, and then the next minute, three seconds later, it was in the back of the net. I suspect he does them in his sleep, doesn't he? He, seem, he seems to almost be a water pilot sometimes when he's, he's doing these things that nobody else yeah. is able yeah. to do. Yeah, it was just divine, though. Just the little Super ball, absolutely. I think he, he sees it. In, the ball's coming, he's right, and I'm going to do, boom. Perfect ball across. Company pulled out. I'm going to um, say, yeah, it was that good that Company couldn't touch it because yeah. he thought, if I do touch this, yeah. it's going to be an OG. Yeah, and right. he had to leave it and they score from He's, it. I mean, they showed on one of the TV grounds, it like Company's withdrawing his leg just at the last second. And then Remy in between the defenders, and it was a really good goal. And if he hadn't scored it, Oscar would have. Yeah. It? Williams deserves a credit to start him because he had. He Great sound of ours, wasn't it? I mean, is it Milner or the, the, the right back? I'm not sure. It was uh, Clichy. Clichy, yeah. Mm. And he got the ball and he just, great. You know, five seconds later, it's a goal. Really good uh, football. I was, I was really pleased with that. Now, the thing, that, the thing that struck me about that, actually, I mean, that was a great time to score. And I'm, I'm just wondering, you know, if they hadn't let one in a few minutes later, I, I have a sneaking suspicion they might have grabbed all three points, Dan. Yeah, it was a great time to score and a terrible time to concede, wasn't it? Wasn't it? That's, that's the problem. Um, my language, thankfully, I was on my own in, in the equivalent of a padded cell, so yeah. it was all right. But I was not happy about that. And, and we've, we've got ourselves to blame for that goal, of course. There's, we'll, we'll talk I know we'll talk well, about it later. No, now, now is we the time. Now, now. now, I can I, now. We, look, see, okay, let's just we can do this for the viewers at home, whether while they're watching the picture of Courtois, keep watching the picture of Courtois, and we'll talk amongst us. So we've done that. Tick. Tick, tick that. We've done that, and see, so we now onto Courtois' error. Oh, so you made an error, did he? Okay, well, well, I, well <laughs> this is the thing. Did he or did he not make yeah, an error? Yeah, I think he made a bit of a rick, didn't he? Uh, we'll, we'll, we've got to be kind to him because it's probably the first one he's done since he's been at Chelsea. Um, the first 
major one, but it does look bad when you watch it back over and over again. Yeah, but you say, you say that. I mean, the counter argument, of course, is that Milner did very well to get in front of him and, and effectively put him off. Yeah, but um, I, I think he found he found himself marooned as a result of going for something that he then flapped at, and of course, then, then there's no recovery from that. Um, he wasn't the only one at, at fault. You've already and, mentioned I mean, Aspie. Well, I, do you know what? It's the interesting thing. I, yeah. I, I say this to you generally, because I, I think actually that that Matic was at fault there. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's Dan and Dana tonight. I yeah. forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, Matic was at fault, wasn't he? Uh, Aspie was definitely at fault. Uh, Courtois was at yeah. fault. Uh, but Ramirez was also at fault I was say. because he didn't pick Silver up. He yeah. sat there and watched him, as I'm afraid Ramirez does have a habit of doing. I don't think he's, you know, the most focused when he's, he's doing his covering duties. He's prone to, 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 to momentary brain fade, it seems. Uh, brain yeah. freeze. Yeah. yeah, I know. That's the kind way of putting it, Dan. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, he, he, I've seen him do it a number of times. You know, he'll let, let the, the midfielder drift past him and he won't go with him. And actually, you know, that shot by... Uh, by uh, Aguero was going past, wasn't it? Came nowhere, yeah. 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 Going wide, yeah. Coming, coming towards me. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah. you'd have had a good view of yeah. that. Yeah, I blame the ball you boy. You were ready, weren't you? Yeah. I was, yeah, yeah. 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 I've had a few of them. But yeah, I blame the ball boy, got the ball back too quick, let him take the throw in too quick as well. I'm glad you said that, because yeah. in some yeah. awfully, pathetically snidey uh, article by Matt Dickinson yeah. in the Times today, uh, they were digging Jose out about uh, you know, rollicking the ball boy for you know for, oh, th for doing exactly what you just said, and actually oh. you say he was quite right to do that. Yeah, well, they've got nothing else to talk about. No, they? because well, they, they haven't. Have they weren't allowed yeah. to. We'll be talking about that much <laughs> more later on. Yeah. Uh, talking about balls going in and out, uh, no pun intended. Um, there was a lot of conjecture about the throw-in, and I, I, I think that you know when Hazard made that run about a minute or two before the goal went in, and you know. It, <laughs> If you were being pedantic, you would say that that ball didn't go it out. It wasn't a throw in, no. But we gave the ball away between the throw in that was taken yeah. and then Well, I agree. Yeah. I, I, don't, I mean, a lot of people were getting really steamed up. I, I, I wasn't at all because I don't think it had anything to do with no, us conceding a goal. 45 seconds later, <coughs> excuse me, 45 seconds later, three phases of play. It's, you can't blame the throw on that. just gasping at straws. I, I also think, actually, it was, it was pretty hard. I mean, I know that everybody's saying it was really easy to see that it was, was not. It wasn't, actually, because every, every camera angle you saw, it was slightly skew if. If you were looking right down the line, you know, it was, the ball was in the air. Mm. And it's uh, they're hard. I th I'm, I'm being unbelievably fair tonight. I don't know what's wrong with me. Sorry, I apologize. Normal service will be resumed, and I'll be a cranky old swine in about ten minutes. Going back to Courtois, because I, I played in goal, and were you, were you playing in goal on Saturday? I didn't notice no, that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, when I was after a few pints, I would have been uh, yeah. impressive. When I was younger, I was playing in goal, and quite often, if you're coming for a ball and there is somebody there, you, you are slightly just you don't it collide. can't. It can't help. It can't help. So I think he had Milner going there, would have got a good punch on it and got it away. I think mm. Milner there did have an impact on his decision making because he would have potentially cast him good way a penalty I don't know but I think well I, I think I think Milner did, did do a good job because yeah, he did enough to put him off and that, that meant he didn't get a clear punch and it went straight to Aguero but the bottom line is I think that was a poor team effort in terms of defending mm. yeah. that goal collective blame yeah and there have been a few moments like that of course I mean I, can we can we talk about Bradford dare I mention it but you know just where the whole lot fall asleep at the same time and that is a bit of a worry isn't it uh, yes yeah but I I, I, I think that Without getting into this too deeply, I do think this is a problem that we've got with this particular team. I don't think that they're as mentally strong as the team in 2004-05. Yeah. You know, it, they're just not as mentally strong. And, and, you know, what I mean by that is that they will have moments of fragility, you know, and they will make mistakes and they will lose focus. And I think that Mourinho is still doing the best that he can to drum this into them, you know, because I, I, I think you look back at the team he first had, they were almost robotic. Yeah. I mean, they were, I mean that's why I love I mean, you know... We all, we all talk about oh, it still. Go 1 0 yeah. up, 2 0 up, game over, and everybody knew it. You could have a snooze in the half time, you know, it's great. In those days, I used to drink, funnily yeah. enough, in those days, I used to drink far more before games than I do now. Because I just knew that if we went a goal, I'd have a bit of a cheeky snooze. Yeah. Nobody would know. I think that, that team was probably three years older in terms of development, you know, 25, 26, 27. Exactly, they are I younger, think, aren't I they? I think this team is developing very nicely. I do, I'm very nicely. Happy I'm with very it. happy. I've got no yeah. complaints. Um, talking of, of sleeping, as, as we were, uh, I mean, you know, they, they were very, very leggy in that second half. Yeah, and, exactly. You know, let's be really frank, they were, they were hanging on, boys, yeah. weren't they? I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I wasn't, sadly, I wasn't there, and it was awful. I mean, that, that last 20 minutes for me, I, I, just, I could hardly bear it. But, what was it like there? It, it was. It, it was really was edge of seat stuff, yeah. and it was very worrying. But, again, making excuses for my no. But they had played two hours of football yeah. only a few days before. But you say that. I mean, there was, wasn't anyone that had dead balls, because they had a lot of possession city, a lot of passing around, trying to get through. But we were defending so deeply <coughs> that they weren't raining in shots or having getting through. I was 
yes, I was worried to the extent, but not like, ah, help. Because I thought we defended very well. We, you know, bank of almost nine or ten behind the ball. And City had no answer. They, could, they couldn't break through. A lot of passing. I think a couple of times Navas got down past Aspel Equator. Mm. But no, no final ball. Aguero came off. Um, Silva came off. And they brought on Jovetic and... Um, I can't remember who they bought one. The other bloke. Yeah, the other bloke. The other, the other bloke, yeah. The other, the other 40 million pound striker. I think you, I think you got a uh, major Jacko. point. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I got, you got a major point there, actually. Uh, you know, whilst it was very nervy because you could basically see that they were out on their feet and, of course, you know, City had an awful lot of possession, they didn't really create much. Yeah, there were exactly not many that. really yeah. close chances where you thought, oh my God, oh my God. I think, actually, the reason for my tension and, and, and nerves is down to the fact of the importance of the yeah, game. It's the occasion. Yeah, yeah it yeah, wasn't actually because yeah. we were on, on, I mean, I, I thought we were under the cosh more against Liverpool, for example, in those last two matches against them. They're, more, I think they're more threatening. I they think more Pellegrini chances. or Pellegrino, as Pellegrino, Mourinho, get it right. as Mourinho yeah. didn't call him on Saturday, uh, I think he dodged a bit of a bullet there because he, he didn't show hardly any um, ambition towards the end of the game. Um, and I think a lot of City mm. fans have been talking about this after the yeah. game. I've seen a lot of that on, on social media. City fans who, who say, well, you know, City should have gone for it. They should have seen Chelsea were leggy. They should have got the points. And if they'd gone for it, I think they could yeah. have. Yeah. It, so gonna, they, they went like for like with the substitutions. They didn't, yeah. they didn't yeah. make a bold substitution. We, my guess is on 60 minutes, 65 minutes, we thought, we're going to get a point here. And the whole team just visibly dropped. 20 yeah, yards. Yeah. But I think there's another reason why they did that, because they didn't want to you don't want to play too high against City when we, we've got, you know, Terry as as, as one yeah, of our central I'm defenders yeah. because they're just gonna ping diagonal balls through and we're gonna get caught. Cool. Mm -hmm. So they sat deeper and just sucked them in. I thought it was, you know personally, I I, I you know, I, I was very disappointed to see quite a lot of idiotic uh, tweets and stuff mm -hmm. from the usual suspects about it not being it. I mean even Andy Jacobs today on Talk Sport, you know, was moaning because he hadn't been entertained. I was royally entertained. I, do you know what? I, see, I never ever, and there's a very, very good reason for this, because I'm usually wrong, but I never predict what a score's going to be in a match. But I put you that blog up, didn't I, yeah. Andy? And yeah, I said it'll it. be a 1-1. One, one. It was nailed on for me it'd be a 1-1. Yeah. One, one. It had 10 quid on it. Well, there you go. Yeah. I should have. I mean, I don't think the odds would have been that good no, with them. Uh, but, you know, for me, and that, for me, I walked away. Well, I didn't walk away. I, I collapsed in my sofa <laughs> in a heap. But for me, that was job done. Yeah. You know, that's absolutely job done. Objective was to keep five points at the minimum. And that was done. Yeah. yeah. And I think the other thing, th I really like what you're saying about Pellegrino, mate, because I agree with you. I, I, you know, my confidence about us winning the title is down to two main factors. One is that we have Jose Mourinho, yep. and B, our only title rivals, have Pellegrino. Yep. I yep. don't rate him at all. I think he's so technically inferior Absolutely. to Jose, or tactically inferior to Jose uh, Mourinho. It's not true. I said that Saturday as well. You can yeah. see Jose, like, like Dan said, like for like substitution, leave Aguero on, leave Deco on. Yeah put that um, number 18 somewhere around the bench and they would have scored if they wanted yeah. to. They really, there was, there was going to be another done, goal. Done. We had yeah. one man, they could have bought, bought off the full back, centre back and just gone, <coughs> gone for it. To say, we've got Mourinho, they've got Pellegrini. I mean, have, 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 has Pellegrino ever beaten a Chelsea side? In the FA Cup last year. Yeah, yeah well, that's yeah, the only one. Yeah. Well, yeah. But I don't think we played Villa. Was it Villa Real he was at? No, we've not, never played them. No, yeah, we never played them, so yeah, I don't think he's beaten in domestic yeah. anyway. We, he's never beaten us in the league, has he? No, double mm. last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two goals Interesting. Um, mm -hmm. Now, talking about Jose, I mean, obviously, you know, um, we're talking about Pellegrino should have should have gone for the for the result. Um, there's a cast iron argument for explaining why Jose didn't, and I mean that was really down to not having Costa and Fabregas available. Yeah, Dan. yeah, the two key players, the, the, the two who've brought so many goals between them this season, most assists in the league, most goals in the league, and and. Not just that, also, just the fact that oh, we've yeah. already talked about how, how leggy they were after yeah. two hours of football. Um, and that but, was an exhausting, we'll talk yeah, about it later, yeah. but that was an exhausting match. But, you know, did Chelsea need to go for the win? You know, in, in an ideal world, with Fabregas, with Costa, yes, it'd be a lovely thing, but still not needed yeah. to. You know, there, there are some risks that, that, you know, Mourinho is sometimes talked about as being cautious, and sometimes he's right and sometimes that's wrong. Um, but do you need to take those risks no, in a game no, like that? No, not. Tuesday night to find in Sunday. Without a doubt, Tuesday night's game to find what Mourinho's going to do on Sunday. Well, I agree, but I, 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 I think actually, even if we hadn't have had that game on Tuesday, I think Mourinho would have, have approached this the same way. And, and, and what he does particularly, I think, and he does this very, very well against uh, you know, his main title rivals, is that he, um, he, will, he will not lose. Whatever yeah. else happens, we do not lose this game. He would go in and said, listen guys, we don't have to win, but we cannot lose. That's, that would be the mantra, I'm sure. And it, we came out with five points clear. Mm, exactly. Job that. done. Um, 
just to quickly before we have to go to a bro, I wouldn't mind having a quick chat about about Remy and, and Zuma. I mean, we were I, I don't know. Were you surprised to see Remy picked? No, had a drug no, I wasn't. I, I I really thought after because he didn't look good at all against Bradford, did he? He's 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 not on his game at the moment. He's well off form, and and Remy has has not shown anything but you know reasonable form. Really, I think he's been good, and he is the number two. So yeah, and very pleased. It hasn't looked like that earlier on in the season, though. To be fair. No, no, but but Drogba isn't looking like the Drogba that we know, is he? Really, he's, he's looking no. a long, long way off his, his form. But to be fair, I mean, we said this on the show last week. Um, you know, Drogba looked absolute pants at the start of the season when he came in. But once he'd had about two or three games under his belt, he actually looked a lot better, and I think yeah. he played really, really well. And he got the goals to, to back that up. And I, th I think this is the problem that you have with Drogba at his age. You know, if you if you have him out of the side for a month or two, he's like an old he's like an old BMW. It takes him a long, 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 long time to get going. You're saying his carburetor is full of gunk? Uh, yes, <laughs> I kind of know how he feels. Though, you know? <laughs> Thing is, with people like me and Dalton Drogba, it takes us a long time to get going. But once we're going, we don't stop. So, but in all, in all seriousness, <laughs> not sure I need that much information. <laughs> you, you obviously you took it not the way it was intended. But um, you know, in, in all seriousness, I think that's the problem. And I mean, he did look awful against Bradford. He looked as awful against Bradford as he did. For whoever it was, first Champions League game. Yeah, first Champions League game. Yeah. Schalke, wasn't it? Yeah, Schalke mm. at home. And and I think I think you need to manage Drogba better if you're going to get the best out of him in the you know for the kind of player he is now. That aside, I, I really I hope that Remy is our, our number two choice because I think you know he proved to me what a great striker this kid can be, and he has a completely different. He's a different type of player to Costa and Drogba. He's very direct. He's very pacey. He's got a lot of lot of skill. We saw that when he played at QPR in Newcastle. Yeah. So. I'd imagine you have to be the first name on the team sheet at Villa, really. I think because, he will be. Yeah, yeah. He's I the think, only option. And you've got the option for these balls from Oscar and Hazard through the defenders because Villa were awful yesterday. They were. Yeah, but court. don't say that because you know what Villa yeah, are like. No, no, they're a bit Barcelona or something. Look, very quickly because we've got about a couple of minutes left, but we really need to praise Zuma. And yeah. I mean, I know, I know that the, I know that everybody's getting very excited about him and probably a bit over the top, but I can't think of two better defensive displays in, in two su such big matches, one after the other, from a 19-year-old defender. It was great. We did play a, a slightly different shape at the back, though, didn't we, against Man City in particular. Um, Ivanovic didn't go off on his wayward runs. They, were, they stayed at home. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yes. Um, so, so that has been the problem, I think, with Cahill. He's been very exposed because he's drawn out to the right, and Zuma didn't have that problem. It'd be interesting to see him in a formation where we do do that. Actually, Dan, that's a really good point, because I, 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 I love Gary Cahill. I'm a huge Gary Cahill fan, and he's been getting a right old coating from a lot of people recently. And everybody seems to have neglected the problem that Cahill has had this season, is that quite often he gets exposed because he's not getting the cover from the defensive yeah. midfielders, mm -hmm. because Fabregas has gone AWOL, and Matt's just had too much to cope with. Yeah. And that, then suddenly, you know, Cahill's faced with like two, three people attacking him at the same time. And then hence the backing off. OK, I've got a bit of an issue with that. But I can understand that he gets a bit isolated sometimes. And I think that's a bit of a shame, really. But Zuma, having watched Zuma in pre-season, uh, I went to the game at Bremen. Uh, and he looked absolutely terrible. He didn't even, I mean, he didn't look like a championship player, let alone a Premier League player. And you, I cannot believe they're the same man. Yeah. And it's just wonderful yeah, to see him, him doing so well. Similar like. AFC Wimbledon. I saw him for that, that, that friendly. And I was they like, don't count. I love, really. Yeah, but it was pre-season as well, though. It was just before the, the, the tour as well. But any endorsement, you need to know what Jose thinks of him. He played him against the champions without any hesitation. Yeah. Well, that, that, I, I just wonder if, if we're seeing a bit of a changing of the guard. I mean, it would be very interesting. I mean, I'm a fan of Zuma already. I think he looks a re hell of a prospect. But we shall see. Now... Uh, after this lovely little break, we're going to be talking a little bit more about the City game, but we're going to be concentrating on things like Sir Frank of Lampard and the fond farewell. Uh, we will be back in a short while.